the pain the pain was so much especially on my left side because I'm left-handed so there's nothing I could do Yani, this man just almost ruined my life coach and I'm here always to give you tips about voice coaching so today I'm here to give you some unfortunate ordeals that happened to me just the other day I know many of you have looked for me and you're wondering where is Flozy in the past one week or so I've been offline I've been off net I've been off 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 everywhere on my social medias and I know you're wondering what happened to this woman. So here I am, and I'm here to tell you what happened to me. So welcome to my channel again. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for always being here. You know, when I see you here, I know I have a family. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the subscription button. And if you have already subscribed, welcome back to, family, to this family. I'm glad to have you today. So um you know my life is about voice and i am a teacher and i'm a trainer and i'm a coach and each and every one of my days within the week i am engaged somewhere doing something concerning voice so um on thursday on thursday i usually have a prison worship team that i coach and um we meet in the evening hours from around 6 p.m. up to 8.30 p.m. It's a two and a half hour session I have with this team, uh, the vocalists, the instrumentalists, just within their church. And um, on Thursday, I had that session and it was excellent. It was just engaging, 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 and it was fun. So finishing the coaching session, at around 8 30 as usual uh, we say the grace and we break and get to go home and um, there there are some of the the members of the team that are from where i come from so we usually uh, walk together and go to the bus terminus or pick our meals just after outside the gate of the church yep so this day apparently i usually have somebody to go with me and this day he was not there it was just me and the members of the team so we were like five people walking just by the road heading to the bus terminus to pick a matatu to take us to kiambu town so as we walked As you are walking um, there are some three guys walking towards us in the opposite direction and when they get to where we are so they just walk just across us to tenganisha tu hivu wanapita katikati yetu ndiyo wanataka tu tuwapishe na wakona fujo somehow and they are big guys they are wearing hoods or may cover their faces and also it's at night you can't really see clearly so the only light that is there ni magari yenye anapita tu just by the lami na it's 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 a place that you can't tell that these guys are thieves so some of us are using their phones you know how it is uko tu na simu kwa mkono but apparently i didn't have mine but I had my handbag, so it was in my handbag, and I was holding my handbag with my right hand. So when these guys are trying to pass, waka tusukuma tu, waka turusha sama utuka kwa disoriented notion of what is going on. And then it just happened in an instant, like 10 seconds it was done. Wakati wanajaribu kupita, 
mmoja on that side, mwingine in the middle, mwingine on the end. So the person that was on the end and I was on the end as well grabbed my handbag. Hey. So wakati alishikilia handbag yangu na mimi nikashindwa what's going on? So he made me turn because he really grabbed it with force. Forcefully and I I turned. But siku achilia kibeti since I really <laughs> treasure what's inside and after all who are you picking my bag and uh nikageuka na nikaanza sasa ku confront this person to leave to stop grabbing my bag because it's my bag anyway so wakati ninageuka na yeye bado anatumia force he was really huge he was big uh nikashika sasa with my other hand nilikuwa nime grab tu na hii mkono then i decided to grab now with the other hand now ni force ni kungangania you know <laughs> you're struggling for your own property but now in the process he picked something from the pocket sijui kama ni kisu ama nini na so mimi nimeshika ameshika the body of the handbag na mimi nimeshika the handles of the handbag so i don't know if he cut it ama iliraruka because i was left with the handles in my hand then he ran off and that road that road is really busy so sijui vile alivuka barabara you know they are used to these things so they don't care about risk so he just passed by the road and my friends tried to reach him ah wengine wenzake i think waliona hey it's creating a lot of commotion so they stopped uh trying to grab my friends phone but sasa huyu ameshashika handbag yangu na ameshaikata na imeshakatika zaidi because i had the complete handle up to the middle so i think alizikata cut, uh, like see they are like hooks alikatia hapa na mimi nikabaki nimevuta so nika nika nikabaki na hiyo nusu handle na mahali nashikania ikararuka i think it, it tore the bag But now since the bag are lined inside so he went with everything that concerns me oh my id my cards my phone my notebooks my voice coaching notebooks oh and so many other things that i'm remembering day by day oh he went with this oh he went with this in my bag so the problem was before now we could conclude now the back and forth of uh grabbing the bag wakati alikata na kaivuta na mimi nikaanguka so nilianguka kwa ground and the road is really rough so i hit my shoulder hit this part of my hand is still in pain my friends and it's i'll show you the wound <laughs> and then this side of my leg generally my left side it was really hurting it was really too much oh my goodness so that's how i dropped on the floor and then my friends went on to chase after the thief you know it's 8:30 in the evening it's at night and then now when you cross the road the other side of the road there's a river and it's so bushy so that guy ran into that bush hakuna vile tungemfuata kwa bush you don't know what they are planning inside there and they all ran to the bush the three of them they all ran so i think it's a squad So we had to go to the police station and report. So you go to the police station, you're so shaken, you're in pain, you don't know where to begin, but I thank God for these friends that I was with because they made sure that the members of their church that are into that they are policemen and uh, the one is in DCI and now the policemen that we found at the station they were really helpful. The last time I went to the police station I don't remember. I just thank God for that. But this night I just had to because now I have lost everything and you have to you have to report for now the investigations to begin. So we went to the police station, we reported nikandikisha and then I got the OB. Then from there we left. So one of the elders just offered to take me home. The elders of the church I was in. He offered to take me home. And that's how I found myself offline so my business is solely online and i use my phone most of the times so when i'm doing my voice coaching classes whether it's online whether it's one on one i have my notes in my phone all my social medias i handle them through my phone oh it was 
So I've been disoriented generally. That's what has been happening. So people are asking me when they meet me one on one, hey Flozi, you've been so lost, and that's why I have been so lost. But I am back gladly. Okay, I'm not still, I'm still not yet online. I hope to very soon, but um I'm glad I'm well. My hand is healed, my shoulder is okay, my leg also. And I think um I'm in a good place right now, I can say. And I thank God for the people around me. They have really uh, worked with me. They've helped me to rise again. They've told me at least they didn't hurt you. There's no deep cut. There's nothing like that. And you didn't have to go to the hospital and spend the night in the hospital. You just went and reported like you're supposed to. And you're okay. You're home. You're whole. And uh, they have helped me to see the bigger picture. What would have happened if it was worse? You know, and going to the police station, actually, we were told there's a gang that's going around and people are being told to keep safe, especially in the days that we are in, the noise that is all around. You need to be careful when you're going outside. If you're in Kiambu town, hear me, please. If you're going outside in those evening hours, don't carry your phone around. Don't carry anything really precious around. If you can leave it in the house, please go ahead and leave it. Because there's so much grabbing, there's so much theft along the roads, along the walkways, in the matatus, um, even for the people that are driving, you know, it is bad. There's so much theft right now. So right now I found myself, I don't have an ID, I don't have my cards, I don't have a phone, I don't have, you know, they took some really precious and personal things so if you have to go around with them be very careful and if you have to just leave them in the house all right so through all these things and and this experience that i've had in that past weekend i have realized i have a family in you guys thank you thank you thank you so much for reaching out thank you for checking on me um thank you to everyone that has called and those that found me off they sent their messages and um, some are actually telling me to call them back so that they, i can inform them of how i am i just want to say thank you so much for your concern and for your love i really appreciate it i still don't have a phone yet but i'm glad that this is also a platform that we can interact on and I know I'll get a phone very soon and we'll continue with the vocal coachings even for the online ones. I know uh, I'm just stuck a little bit, but I know uh, having you here by itself is a blessing by itself and I know we'll get to it very soon and we'll continue with our lessons, we'll continue with our classes. So God bless you in advance for standing with me god bless you in, ad in advance for praying for me for thinking about i have realized this is a family and we do not have to see one on one but the moment i am off just a little bit you notice it and i know i'm so grateful thank you so much guys so once again subscribe to this channel if you haven't and continue being a part of this family and if you already won i do appreciate you and let's continue so that you get every time i, upro I, I upload something you'll be the first person to be notified so keep on being a part of my family i love you so much guys god bless you and god be with you once again keep safe stay safe make sure you carry what you're supposed to or what really you need other things just leave them in the house so bye bye for now thank you so much once again